Okay, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline and an audio clip. First, let's right click inside the project panel and go to New Item Adjustment Layer. Drag the adjustment layer onto the track above your video. Next, go over to the Effects panel and type Directional Blur into the search box. Drag the Directional Blur effect onto your adjustment layer on the timeline. Now, up in Effect Controls under Directional Blur, change the blur length to 30. OK, back down on the timeline, move the playhead to where you want your shake effect to start. I'll move mine to where my bass comes in. Reposition your adjustment layer so that it starts at the playhead. Move the playhead forward one frame and cut the adjustment layer at that position. Then keep moving it forward one frame and making a cut at each position for however long you want your shake effect to last for. You won't be needing the rest of the adjustment layer after your last cut, so just delete it. OK, now just select and delete every other frame, starting with the second one. And that's all you have to do. When I play this back, I have a nice looking camera shake effect when my bass comes in. To quickly duplicate the effect, simply drag to select all your cutout adjustment clips. Then while holding down the Alt key, drag them to create duplicates. I'll just position these to where the bass comes in again. That's it for this tutorial, but did you guys know that you can get unlimited access to thousands of transitions, sound effects, animated titles, music, and so much more with Envato Elements? Plus, we've teamed up to give away the first month subscription, which includes unlimited downloads for a massive 70% off. So be sure to check it out below in the description so you don't miss out on this amazing deal that's exclusive to viewers of the channel. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.